Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to play a role in this Emerging Leaders Summit. Uh, although CK gave me a mission to prepare a talk regarding the work and life balance, it might be the most difficult part of my life as an IP physician. Nothing to disclose. Okay, let's start from what is war level. Work life and bal work and life balance is initially described by uh, Mr. Kastner in middle 1800. And there was an industrial revolution and the average life expectancy of workers was just 18 years old at that time. Afterward, UK journalists in 1970s and US journalists in 1986 used this terminology. In Korea, after the activation of 52-hour limit labor law, what level has been activated is this and actively discussed. And actually, the Korean cities in their 20s and 30s has a big interest in war level. And compared to their older generation, they pursue freedom and happiness rather than the financial wars, wealth. So they are interested in the uh, home management, food, travel, beauty, or physical training, balance their, balancing their, their work and career. Okay, at this moment, uh, because there are huge personal variations in their concept of uh, work and life balance, so I picked up the interviews from three cardiologists, old professor, very junior EP, and the young and active EP physicians. Let's listen to their interviews. Hello, my work life balance myself, but I think it depends There's on the president of Severus County West Hospital, 50 um, years, 58 years old male. We are proud of position and achievement. Korean culture wise, you know what? Uh, Korea is uh, sometimes very conservative, uh, like military culture in medicine. It takes time and effort to get inside uh, main society. But once you are accepted, then you are really the part of the family. It looks like the mafia. Actually, when I was a junior step, I went to work before 5.30 in the morning and finished it around 11 p.m. along with the, along with the lots of uh, personal gatherings. But it was 20 years ago. There are many warm-hearted people around you, but it takes time until you find it. Coming back to work-life balance, mm, let's say the Korean work culture in hospital is changing everywhere. For example, the plunging, plunging of the medical trainees, soaring of medical legal problems, unlimited competition, high volume of hospital with cutting edge techniques and uh, relatively low salary for doctors compared to with other professions. So in my life, I always keep in mind 4H for my work-life balance. First H is humble. I realized that there are so many people more excellent than me. Second H is honest. Whenever I decide on something, I always think be honest. Third H is hard working. If you do not work hard, you cannot achieve your goals. The last H is human networking. I knew I'm here with the help of many. Okay, my message for work balance, work life balance to you is to keep your eyes and mind open and make you different in your life. Thank you. Hello. Okay, next one is the assistant Hi, professor just David started David his David faculty David career. In Korea. Actually, this is the first year as a attending physician. Compared to the life in the fellowship training, my work life 
talent has been literally broken. Does life get better if I would be a senior doctor? Many senior doctors around me always told me the workload even will go up until the time of retirement in this country. Really frustrating, isn't it? So I decided to my, find my own way and set my own principles to create a better balance. First of all, I accepted there is no perfect work-life balance. It is not always possible to have an extremely productive day at work and leave early to spend the other half of the day with my family. Someday we might focus on more on work while the other days we might have more time to spend my family or my alone. I think balance should be pursued over time, not each day. Second, I made my own rule to have a home dinner with my family at least three times a week and spend at least a day a weekend for myself and my family. Lastly, I started a swimming regularly, plan to learn playing tennis, prioritizing my health. I hope my junior our junior EP doctors like me can manage our work and our life eventually. Thank you. Okay, last one is the Hello, I am ETU the Vascular Hospital, Electrophysiology Division. Before I start, I honestly don't know if I'm the right candidate to talk about this topic, work-life balance. It seems very difficult to achieve for me. Uh, for example, uh, it's uh, 9 and 30 p.m. and I'm still in the office. When I work at the hospital during working hours, uh, my boss or senior talk to me. You are not enough. Uh, you need to create more products. And when I go back home, my wife says, you are not enough. You need to pay more attention to me and our kids. Like this, uh, there are many hurdles to achieve a work-life balance. So the first step will be to accept that there is no perfect work-life balance. And I think it's important to have pride in what I do uh, for patient or for academic progress. In that way, my spouse, companion, really respect and understand my working hours and then set achievable goals of the day weeks and months and cutting out the tasks that have little value and lastly uh, i think it's important to know that my job shouldn't be my entire life no matter how big it may be so I try to make time for myself, my health, and my family. Uh, well, what I have said so far is not what I am good at, uh, but uh, what I hope to do well in the future. So I want to hear more wise stories from other teachers in this session to achieve that goal. Thank you. Okay, we'll listen to three speakers, the interview. And the first one, if I summarize those the, uh, opinions, the first one is President of Severance Cardiovascular Hospital, full professor. He mentioned about the old patient like mafia, struggled to come into the inner circle. And he emphasized four H's, but the, he never commented about the family care. Okay, and the very young uh, clinical associate assistant professor, he just started a faculty career. He is quite ambitious for World Label. And uh, he tried to use half of day uh, for his family, three times home dinner with family, regular exercise. 
I'm not sure he's doing well. And the last one is uh, active AP physician assistant professor. He complained about the endless requirements from both working place and home. And he planned the daily schedule, long-term schedule, self-fast team. But still there are so many hurdles between idea and reality. So he's uh, he planning escape from the hospital to United States as soon as, as soon as possible for the sabbatical. Okay, let's check the fact at this point. In 1984, Milan Kundera uh, wrote a novel uh, titled The Unbearable Lightness of Existence. YOLO, uh, You Only Live Once, has a similar philosophy and background to this, to this novel. The fact is life is short, but your current work is even shorter. At this moment, uh, we have to think, who will stay with me for the longest time? Probably the key person is in your life is your spouse. I'm sorry, I did not imagine the life of unmarried people. So, okay, uh, for your proper world, work and life balance, I would like to recommend two facts. Number one, convince or compromise your uh, with your spouse. Otherwise, make yourself or your spouse give up something. So the further, uh, for the practical explanation, I made a decision tree that we are used to. And let's suppose some work is assigned to you. First, uh, you need to think over whether it is valuable work or not. If no, just go home and take care of your family. If yes, uh, <clears throat> imagine your wife also agree it is valuable work. If no, go home. If yes, check your wife also respects your working time and your working schedule. If no, go home. If yes, finish your work before your family complains. If you finish your work at the appropriate time safely, that might be safe and satisfactory day. If it is delayed quite, uh, please prepare for the backfire from your wife. But the real problem is when you have to go home too often because you cannot get your spouse uh, agreement. If it happens less than three times a week, you have to try better uh, to your family. If it happens more than four times a week, probably that is a real problem. You need to consider changing your job, a wife or lifestyle seriously. So there is no clear answer to all of that for EP physicians, but my last word is pray more and true wisdom comes when you give up something. Thank you very much for your attention.